Hello everyone, in this video we're looking at using the Easy Build System Assets, or short EBS, with Game Creator. EBS allows for real-time building in your game, similar to what is used in games like Fortnite. Now this will be a short video because there isn't much we need to do here. In order to create this we will need Unity, Game Creator and the EBS asset. Before we start I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. Now in order to set this up we don't really need much so I created a new scene. I'm going to add a plane here. There we go. I'm going to put it in a default location and let's add a default character player controller. And there we go. Now in order to use EBS you need to make sure it's properly installed. So if you go to Tools, Easy Build System, it will be here. Now to get quickly started, literally use that quick start. And hit yes. Now when you go to EBS and once you've installed it in the main editor, you see all of these integrations. So integrations for controllers, for inventory systems, etc. And you might think that because Game Creator isn't present there, it won't work. Now, the good news is it doesn't really need any integration to work by default. So, this is it. This is all we had to do. Now, if I hit play, and I need to add that camera motor, otherwise nothing will work properly. There we go. Let me adjust this just a tiny bit. Perfect. So here we are. If I hit E, it will work by default. And that's it. That's that's all there is to it really. Now you won't work won't know how all of these buttons work without some guidance. So the easiest way to do this is simply go to easy build system samples and integration samples grab the third person controller yeah let's save and let's copy over this demo ui so i'm just going to hit copy go back to our scene and we're gonna paste it in now this is just a ui it's just an explanation on what we're doing here but it really helps figuring out what we need to do so as you can see, E is for placement mode, R, destruction, T. Pretty sure that's supposed to be editing, I'm not sure. And B is lock screen and unlock screen. So if I hit E, I can place and we're all good. And it's all working. And as you can see, it sort of snaps together as well. I'll show you how that actually does work. And yeah, that's really nice. Now if I'm going to hit T and then use the scroll wheel to change between these assets i want the default wall as we can see and i'm going to hit e again and now we have a wall and these snap as well to these foundation parts we were using and yeah really cool and well there we go system builds and we have some uh, some parts here so small room present and yeah as you can see this is actually really cool it allows for real-time building which is something that well fortnite made really popular but it's not the only game that used it obviously but yeah really simple as you can see and easy to use now the way this works is if we go to easy build system we have the build manager and it uses a set of collections so if we click on that and we go to the default parts collections which is installed using that quick start option we have these default parts so foundation wall ramp floor etc now the order of this is important you need to make sure the foundation is always one so you can move this around but just make sure the foundation is one and in order to set parts like this up all you really need to do is create some prefabs and 
add this script so the part behavior which is just a component so if we go to part behavior there we have it and yeah you need to set this up so every part needs to be set up correctly so the foundation which is the floor needs to be called foundation and it needs these settings up things set up as well and it's up to you how you set all of this up and yeah there's a lot you can do so preview allowed the night colors and it's pretty pretty elaborate so yeah I mean that's that's pretty much it I was expecting an actual integration here but it doesn't actually need one it just works out of the box with the default controller so really cool so hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you next time.